So in that moment, what you need to ask yourself is, what's the worst thing that can happen? Am I actually going to die? Ask yourself that. Am I actually going to die in Tesco's? No, no, you're not. Christine, Jesus, fuck. Miriam, when these moments happen, you need to breathe and root yourself in something physical, tangible. Are you fucking serious? Miriam. I make a considered effort to save the NHS time and money by self-diagnosing my own anxiety and declining antidepressant drugs in order to come in and see a psychiatrist. Cognitive behavioral therapist. therapist. Yes. And your answer, your treatment, is to tell me I won't actually die in Tesco's. What you need to ask yourself is what's to be feared in those moments where you feel afraid? Because the answer is, well, you know the answer. Nothing. Nothing. I know I freak out when there's nothing to freak out about. That's called anxiety. Your job is to fix it or tell me why it happens. Not to remind me that there's nothing to be afraid of in the first place or to soothingly suggest that I grab a can of sweet corn and breathe. What made you choose sweet corn? I cannot believe how arrogant you can be. What is it that you pick up about people that tells you their birthday? I can sense their... Don't say aura. I wasn't. I was going to say I sense their energy. You cross-reference all the people you've ever known. Like, people with Christmassy birthdays probably feel massively unspecial compared to summer birthday people, and that stuff trickles into their personality, and you analyse the person in front of you and guess really well. That's bullshit. I have a thing, a proper intuition. You just have a really hard time imagining I, I anyone else's realities. Yes, you do. You cannot get over the fence and look at the other side. You have no fences. You live in a fenceless world. There's just grass with you. You said you wanted to see him. Only because you called so and said I'm he was facilitating dying. Facilitating. It's a very clinical word. Sarah, he hasn't seen you in years. Let me go in and tell him that you're... You know that someone's coming to see him, and then you can say what you like to him. I'll leave if you really want to. How generous of you. Please don't. All right, fine, we'll do that. Thank you for calling me. That's what facilitators do. How are you otherwise? Other than this, fine. Jobless. How did you get here? Train. You didn't fly? Fuck off, Amy. How much was it? 52 quid. I'll give it back to you. You carry 50s. A flight would have been about 95. Good? Great. Um, I liked your profile. It's mysterious. Good, so you've done your research. So. What made you... No, actually, uh, is there anything you want to ask me first? Do you fancy a drink? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I do have a few to get through tonight, though, just so you know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd, I've never done this before. You're what very attractive. What? F fucking... Are you Greg? No, no. You said you were. You said I, Greg. I didn't. I, I said... You did. You did. You I said, said great when you. Greg. Oh my god. I, I have a fish, a plenty of fish app date. I'm, I'm so sorry. Did you say you thought I was attractive? 